Hello everyone. Welcome to the session on microprocessors. In this session, we will be discussing about how to use 8085 simulator. As uh, many students are locked at their homes only, and they are unable to make an access to their laboratories. But it is possible that uh, you can execute assembly language programs by using 8085 simulator. In this session, we will see what we mean by 8085 simulator and how to make the use of this app, which is available on the Android phones. Friends, as you know that you are viewing this session on my YouTube channel, Learn with Prakash Khanade, and subscribe to the channel to see many videos on the subjects of electronic science, computer science. So we will start the session with the question, what we mean by 8085 simulator. We know that 8085 is a is one of the basic microprocessor and in many courses the programming with 8085 is being incorporated so whenever we learn 8085 microprocessor programming or assembly language programming then we need to execute these assembly language programs by using the 8085 microprocessor trainer kits but since the access to the laboratories are not available nowadays and since the simulator apps are available, it is possible that you can execute these assembly language programs by using this 8085 simulator app. So 8085 simulator is an app that is being available on the Android phones. This app can be used to execute the assembly language programs written for the microprocessor 8085. Now we will go for what are the steps in order to achieve this. In the step first, what we all need to do is that we need to go to the Play Store and we need to search for the Intel 805, 8085 simulator app. So when you, whenever you go to the Play Store and you search for the Intel 8085 simulator, then the related apps will be displayed on your screen. Now you need to select one, the appropriate one, and then you need to install it on your mobile phones. So you can easily install the app on your mobile phones by clicking the install button. Now, once the app is being installed on your mobile phones, then you will find that uh, you can uh, see this app on the installed apps or on the screen of your mobile. And this app will be available for its use. So you can check whether the app installed is available on your mobile or not. So whenever you check for the screen of the mobile, then you can usually check that the app is being installed on your mobile. And now you can make an access to this app. So whenever uh, you just click uh, the 8085 simulator app, then the app will get executed. That is the app will get open and the initial screen of the app will look like, like this. I shown in this diagram. Now uh, you need to type your ALP program and uh, you, you can execute also this ALP program by using this app. So before you actually type your ALP program, it is necessary that your ALP program must be ready with you. Now here uh, we will consider one uh, simple ALP program. Suppose uh, we have been uh, given a program where we want to make an addition of the two hexadecimal numbers. And we will suppose that the first hexadecimal number is stored at the location D000. And the second number is stored at the location D001. Then we can write the assembly language code or program like this. The first instruction will be Alexa HD000, where we will initialize the HL pair to the memory location D000. Then we will move the content from the memory to the accumulator. That is the first number will be moved to the accumulator. Then we will increment the HL pair. That is the content of the HL pair will point to the next location D001. Then we will move the second number to the register B. So the first number is in the accumulator and the second number is in the register B. Then we will make the use of the instruction add B where you will find that the content of the register B will get added into the accumulator. Now the two numbers are added and the result is in the accumulator. 
and now we want to store this result suppose at the location d002 and therefore again we will increment the hl pair inxh and then we will move the content of the accumulator to the memory location pointed by the hl pair that is to the location d002 and then finally since our job is complete we will halt the program so once you write such type of the alp then you need to write the corresponding opcode for each and every instruction so you need to assume some memory address so you know that for 8085 microprocessor there is a certain set of memory locations that can be used by the programmer say for example i can make the use of address c000 for storing the opcode 2100d0 so lxih will have the opcode 21 and then i will give the address d000 so while entering this address we will initialize we will initially enter 00 and then d0 the most significant bits then for mu a comma m the opcode is 70 for inxh the opcode is 23 for mu b comma m the opcode is 46 for add b instruction the opcode is 80 then for inxh the opcode is 23 for mu m comma a the opcode is 77 and finally for halt instruction i have the opcode 76 so once uh, such paperwork is being done by you then now you are ready to enter this opcode into your 8085 simulator app now simply what you have to do is that you have to type this address say for example here i will click c000 and then i will click next isn't it and once i do this then i can type the opcode 21 so the first opcode 21 can be typed so as shown here suppose when i click c000 and when i click next the button then the uh, position of the cursor will be moved to the next location and here i can type the opcode 21 so this is the first opcode that you are entered that you have entered in the memory location c000 now the next thing that you have to do is that you have to click the next again so i will click the next again so you will find that this uh, uh, content of the memory location or the address of the memory location will automatically get incremented to c001 and then i will type the next code that is 00 from this sheet once I enter 00, then again I have to uh, click the next so that the memory location address will get incremented and it will be now to C002 and then I will enter this code D0. So in this way, you will find that sequentially I need to just press this next button so that the address will be automatically updated and every time what I need to do is that I need to enter this opcode. So after D0, I will enter 70, then 23, then 46, then 80, then 13, 23, then 77, and then finally I will enter the 76. So once you enter the 76, it means that the all the opcode that is being written for your assembly language program has been entered. So your location now will be C009 and the final code that you have entered is 76. After entering 76, again, what you have to do is that you have to press next so that that code will get stored in the location. Now the opcode entering part is being over, it is being completed. And before execution of the program, what we need to do is that we need to feed the data. That is, we need to feed the two numbers in the locations D000 and D001. So this is the next step. In the next step, what we need to do is that we need to feed the required data. So in order to feed the data, what I will do, I will press the reset button. After reset, I will type the address D000 and then I will press the next and then I will type the first number. Suppose my first number is 32 hexadecimal. So this is our first number. Then again, I will press next. So next, which is shown over here. And then I will type for it. So this is my second number. So this is the second number 48 hexadecimal. So both the numbers are hexadecimal numbers. And then I will click the next again. 
so you will find that when you uh, go for the d001 your number is the second number for it once you enter this number for it then you have to place the next so that that number will get stored in that memory location so now the data entering part is been completed and now we are ready to execute our program so our uh, code part is being already entered our data part is already entered and now we are in a position to execute the program so now to execute the program again what we have to do is that we have to press the reset button so we will reset and now in order to execute the program we have to click go button so here it is a go button so we will click on the go button and then we will type the initial address of the memory location from where the alp code is being stored so we will press or we will type c000 and then we will press the execute button so here it is an execute button so we press the execute button so if your program entered is correct and your data entered is appropriate then you will find that your program will get executed and the content of the accumulator will be displayed on the screen so one can easily observe that the content of the accumulator will be displayed on the screen and this is just nothing but your result so observe that this is our result and uh, also in the program we have made a provision that the result is being stored at the location d002 therefore it is possible that we can check whether our result is there at the location d002 so in order to check that again what i will do that i will reset the press the reset button and then i will type the location address d002 and then i click the next and again you will observe that in that location you will see the same result of 7a so it means that whenever we add the two numbers hexadecimal numbers 32 and 48 then the result of this addition is 7a and this result is being displayed on the screen or at the location d002 so thank you friends for viewing the session hopefully you have understood how to make the use of 8085 simulator and how to execute the assembly language programs for 8085 microprocessor so without going to the laboratories by sitting at home only you can execute you can write and execute the 8085 assembly language programs so thank you friends for webbing the session thank you all